All right, here we go. This one's going to be a 44 cap and ball black powder revolver test. And that is a huge thank you to my brother for letting us borrow a setup so we can uh, get this test done and see how well it performs. So he does actually have a couple channels here on the platform. I will link them down in the description and throw them up on the screen. One of them is GE Outdoors, um, where he does a lot of stuff with the family and has tons of fishing content. And his other one is GE Machines, where he does a lot of tinkering, a lot of... Uh, dirt bike restoration repairs on that one so both great channels so let's go over show them some love throw them a like and a follow it i appreciate that very much guys so today we are going to be testing out the hornady round ball here's what those look like they are solid lead um, they don't have a grain weight on the box but i did take a few and weigh them out just to get an average and they are right at 140 grain so we'll be stacking that on top of 30 grains of triple f powder and see how well it does so today we are going to be testing out of his eight inch pieta revolver we'll be going through our gel that is a 10 percent block we do have our catch block behind that so a total of 22 inches of gel our four layers of cotton t-shirt on the front like always we'll set up our chronograph so we can hopefully pick up those impact velocities so let's set up and see how this thing does all right, we're still back to 15 feet. All right, let's see how we did on that one. All right, so our impact velocity on that one was 691.4 feet per second. So definitely not the highest, but you know, it is a black powder pistol, so not really expected to be too high. And we actually do have a leaker, so it looks like we got quite a bit of penetration. All right, so there is that entry hole. You can't see down in it like you normally can, but it looks like we have a decent star pattern so far. So let's check it out from the top. Oh yeah, check that out. I actually do uh, have a little bit of damage going through there. A little bit of a spiral cut. You can see it did flatline pretty quick. And same thing with that second one. Went all the way through that second block. So a total of 22 inches of gel. And we did make it all the way through that jug. And that jug is about 5.5 to 6 inches. So we got a ton of penetration on that one. So let's see what kind of measurement we have on this one at its widest spot. Looks like we are right at about just about an inch so definitely not too bad you know especially for you know just a lead round ball pretty cool to see and same thing from the side looks like it came in and uh you can see that damage path one more time looks like it carried about probably two-thirds of the way through that block and then like i said we did make it into that second one you can see just that flat line going all the way through so let's see what kind of measurement we have here from the side so with the widest spot from the side is excuse me just about three quarters of an inch so a little bit less from the side than the top but you know definitely not too bad and like i said these are 11 inch blocks so i made it a total of 22 inches of penetration uh through both of those and then through that jug so we weren't able to catch that projectile but uh you know definitely pretty cool so i think what i'm going to do is i'm going to set up one more time and we'll see if we can catch it all right we're sending back to 15 feet All right, let's see how we did on that one. All right, so it looks like our impact velocity on that one was 869.9, so definitely a lot more like it. Kind of like what I was expecting, really. That I guess that first one was uh, super low, so definitely not too bad for that.
All right, so there is that entry. Looks like I got another really good hit on that one. This one you can actually see right down in that cavity, so not too bad. Looks like a pretty decent star pattern so far. So let's check it out from the top. Oh yeah, check that out. Looks like we definitely got a little bit more damage in the last one. Got some nice spiral cuts going through. Looks like it did settle down just a little bit towards the end. We did make it into that second block all the way through that second block, through this first jug, and it looks like we were able to catch it in that second one. Uh, so definitely glad that I had that one up because that first one, we did make it through that first jug. So see what kind of measurement we have on this one. So we are gonna measure at its widest spot. And it looks like we are just about an inch and a quarter. So a little bit more than that last one, about a quarter inch more. That one was an inch, inch and a quarter for that second shot. So not too bad at all. So let's check it out here from the side. And it looks like same thing from the side. So it looks like as soon as it came in, actually uh, started creating that nice damage path. Of course, they're not opening up because they're lead balls. Um, it might be smashing a little bit, you know, flattening out, but definitely not opening up like a hollow point. But looks like it's creating some pretty good damage going through there. It looks like it didn't settle down until maybe that last inch or so. And then you can see that track going all the way through. So let's see what kind of measurement we have here from the side. So at our widest spot from the side, looks like exactly the same, about an inch and a quarter. So that's definitely awesome to see. And it is this track here on the top. Hopefully you guys are able to see that. Looks like there is a little bit of a rifling or twist left in it. Made it all the way through. Looks like it made it into that first jug, out of that first jug. And it looks like we made it into the second one and literally just barely stopped it in the second one. So definitely not too bad. So we're going to check these out one more time from the top. So that first one was on the right-hand side. Second one was on the left-hand side. So here is that first shot. You can see it came in, started doing quite a bit of damage. Not too bad. Star cuts going all the way through. Did make it into that second block and went all the way through that second block. And here is that second shot. Same thing with this one. Came in, started creating quite a bit of damage. Looks like it carried probably about two thirds to three quarters through that block. Did settle down a little bit, and then you can see that nice uh, flat line going all the way through. And then we did make it into that second jug, so a ton of penetration for that one. Uh, so, like I said before, these are 11 inch blocks, so a total of 22 inches of gel, and then about probably uh, I'd say 11 to 12 inches of uh, the water jug, so quite a bit of penetration. So, uh, let's pull this around and see what it looks like. All right, check this thing out. So I'm very surprised and very excited that we're actually able to catch this thing. Didn't do too much damage. You can actually see that nice uh, rifling mark on there. And then if you look really close, I'll probably do it at, at the end um, with our you know, still shots and all that. But you can actually see an imprint from that cotton t-shirt on that. So that is definitely pretty cool. But that thing had a ton of penetration for sure. Doesn't look like it had deformed too much, but... Uh, you know, we weren't really expecting it to, but man, that is uh, very cool that we're actually able to catch that. And hopefully you guys can see that uh, texture pattern on the front end of that thing. But definitely very cool. So uh, once again, thank you, bro, for letting me borrow your setup because this was definitely a fun test. And uh, of course, something new too. So like always, like I said, we will uh, rinse us all this stuff off, get our still shot, slow-mo, all that good stuff here at the end. So once again, that one was that 44 cap and ball black powder revolver test. Thanks for watching, guys. All right, so there's that cross section for that second shot. Um, I'm probably not going to do the first shot just because the velocity was so low. Um, the second one is kind of more on par on what I was expecting, and I feel like that's probably um, a little bit more accurate on what we're going to be averaging out. Um, I might have just loaded that first one a little bit light. But you can see actually does have some nice splitting going on pretty decent size hole same on the second one perfect little uh kind of triangle cut so i did remeasure these they're peaking right at about an inch and a half and averaging right at the one and a quarter inch mark so definitely not too bad so let's cut it open all right and here's after being cut so this bottom is the right side this top is the left so you can see pretty much as soon as that thing came in, started creating a little bit of damage. Of course, it's not going to expand because, uh, you know, it was a round ball. It wasn't really meant to expand. Um, it did flatten out just a little bit, but um, you can kind of tell right here from the damage it actually created. Got some really nice splitting going on. 
right in here you can kind of see that path going all the way through but it actually did quite a bit of damage I'm definitely surprised um, I really didn't expect it to do this much I, I thought it was just gonna be pretty much like an ice pick going through but uh you know pretty darn impressive and the power was right in that uh I guess 38 special area so you know it's definitely uh moving along pretty good so here's the top same thing came in starting to create a little bit of damage this side has a little bit more cutting going on but man, pretty darn impressive for sure i didn't really know what to expect it looks like it did drag in a little bit of cotton t-shirt you know further in that block but yeah i wasn't really sure what to expect with this one um and like i said i'm pretty surprised on uh, the amount of power that thing was pushing out so definitely very cool it's a little bit more of that cotton t-shirt but not too bad at all so there we go guys that one was that 44 cap and ball black powder revolver test